The Supreme Court on Thursday sided with a couple who had been battling the Environmental Protection Agency for more than a decade over a plan to develop a property in the Idaho Panhandle, a decision with potentially sweeping national ramifications for water quality, agriculture, and development. The case, which was centered on the scope of the 1972 Clean Water Act, was arguably the most important environmental decision the Supreme Court has handed down since a majority last year. Oh, where'd it go? Uh, since a majority last year and validated an EPA effort to regulate power plant emissions. The plaintiffs asked the court to provide a clear definition for what the law meant when it gave the agency power to regulate the waters of the United States. And, you know, again, the, the Supreme Court's the Supreme Court's dismantling of the EPA is very ironic, considering that uh, Republicans created the Environmental Protection Agency under the Nixon administration. You know, just so that's just like a model of how much further to the right Republicans have, have moved. Well, not just Republicans, but Democrats subsequently. You know what I'm saying? The, the entire country, when it, especially when it comes to like economic economic policy, um, but but culturally as well. Um, but again, Republicans created the EPA and now they're like, ah, yeah, who needs it? OK, um. In an opinion written by Justice Samuel Alito and joined by four other conservative justices, the court limited the scope of the EPA's ability to control wetland pollution. That's important because in addition to the wetlands themselves, the water at issue often feeds into the rivers and lakes that are more clearly covered by federal pollution controls. All right. The Supreme Court in this case, the majority, a majority of the court said that the lack of clarity about what types of waters are covered by the Clean Water Act was difficult for property owners to understand. A staggering array of landowners, Alito wrote, are at risk of criminal prosecution if they don't realize their property is subject to federal environmental rules. Alito's opinion was joined by Chief Justice John Roberts and Justice Clarence Thomas, Neil Gorsuch and Amy, Amy Coney Barrett all Republican appointees, three of which Donald Trump appointed. Kavanaugh warns of repercussions. Justice Brett Kavanaugh, joined by the three liberal justices, said that while he sided with plaintiffs and against, against the EPA, he disagreed with the court's definition of what types of water should be subject to government regulation. The court's ruling, Kavanaugh warned, would have significant repercussions for water quality and flood control throughout the United States. <sighs> Ah, these people are so stupid, man. They're so dumb. Like, they just dismantle everything. And they're like, yes. Kavanaugh, Republican appointee, was joined by Justices Sonia Sotomayor, Alina Kagan, and Katanji Brown-Jackson, all Democratic appointees. The bottom line, the court's opinion adopts a new, more narrow standard that will limit how much water the EPA may regulate. That's a win for developers and a loss for environmentalists. Okay, so the case that it, hold on, let me see. Michael and Chantel Sackett purchased a vacant lot in a resident. This is how the case got to the Supreme Court. Michael and Chantel Sackett purchased a vacant lot in a residential subdivision in Idaho in 2004. The couple obtained the country permits needed to develop the site, but were informed by the EPA shortly after. They began construction that the agency viewed the land as subject to its review because it contained wetlands about 300 feet from Priest Lake. So it'd be like, oh, well, you know, we're just two people and we really, really want to build here. So, you know, screw everyone else and everything else that needs these wetlands. You know, I, I, me, singular, uno, want what I want. It's, it's just like, it's just so much of it of, of conservatism is just on the backbone of selfishness. You know what I'm saying? Like for stuff like this, you know, like what really? I want what I want. Screw everybody else. During oral arguments in October, several uh, several members of the court's conservative majority questioned the standard the EPA uses to determine if a wetland is subject to federal permitting requirements and oversights. <laughs> Hold on. Chief Justice Roberts summed up the challenge facing the court by noting that water often flows underground in ways that are difficult to predict or measure. Water goes everywhere eventually. Okay. 
So, and closing out with the potential impact of the EPA decision. In its decision Thursday, the Supreme Court not only overturned the Ninth Circuit, uh, it set a new standard for what types of water is covered by the Clean Water Act. The court's opinion means that the EPA will have the ability to regulate only wetlands with a continuous surface connection to a larger body of water in a way that makes them indistingu indistinguishable, damn, indistinguishable from those large bodies. Uh, there's a departure from a more encompassing standard uh, that required the EPA and landowners to consider the chemical and biological connection between the wetland and the larger body of water. The case has been closely watched by environmentalists, developers, and farming groups who have long fought over how far the EPA's reach extends beyond navigable lakes, rivers, smaller streams, and wetlands that feed into and pollute those larger bodies of water. Well, there you have it. You know, the, the, the Supreme Court, the most powerful bench in all the land of the United States, filled with people who can like stay on the bench for 50 years if they, if they live that long. You know, uh, uh, a position until death. They're just making such wise decisions for us all.